Mahali Harris. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. A la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Welcome to Santiago. Thank you. I'm again up so yeah you want Hi, oh boy, she like them bad. Well, yeah, I'm sorry for I don't even call it here because right now we're using that young girl fan again and you know the fans and them just make the noise but welcome to my vlog I hope everyone is doing amazing um well, yeah, I am on my way to the airport I didn't get to start the vlog earlier because you know like when you're packing it's just like very chaotic so we headed to Piaco now we almost reached Piaco lights and um, my flight is 6 30 and it is 4 o'clock now so yeah um also we I packed my suitcase and everything last night well Dario bought a suitcase for me and then this morning the zip decided to so I unpack my suitcase and put it in the next suitcase that I didn't plan on going with and all it is just chaotic but Darius say good morning yeah so we are on our way to the airport as I said um, I am going to Dominican Republic however I have to go to JFK first all it is a whole a whole update I need to give all you when I get to the hotel in Jesus name I will kind of update yeah and I settle I will update all you hopefully we have that time you first of all, you use priority, correct, or? Correct, yeah, uh -huh. did, did. Mm -hmm. and then anything could happen. Um, so yeah, earlier, I have like a five hour of um layover in, I go to say overlay, <laughs> that's the editing, you know, the kind of editing terms now. But I have a layover in JFK, so we'll see how everything goes. I am traveling with somebody else who I have never met before, actually, but yeah, and uh, the person who I know, my team member, Fana, bigger Fana, um, because she has watched my vlogs and thing, and I know she will be watching this one. Um, she already there, so I can't wait to see her. She showed me like videos of the place. I am so excited to reach, but you all know I'm not excited about the plane ride. I am not like a flying air person, hate it. Just want to reach, so I'll update all you. Heading to the airport now I'm trying to remain calm Dari just said prayers over me my mother said she cover me I pray this morning so we're going with God and I will update you all at some point so checked in and I'm going to take off my camera right now so what fun oh yeah my flight delayed by an hour so it was supposed to be 6 30 now it's 7 30 and all yeah it's like when you have like as I tell Larry I don't want to say I have anxiety but when you're like nervous about something and things like this happen, it'll just make you feel even more overwhelmed. Which, as I say, when I reach in Dominican Republic and I start to laugh, you know, the whole history with this. But we in the airport now, Darius told me. And he's staying until he says 7 ish. Yeah, he says. Good morning. Okay, thank you. But yeah, so we'll see all you. We'll see. But I'll check, I'll update all you soon. I 
I'm here, I'm at the hotel and I just wanted to show Lady Bell I'm not going to do a room tour tonight because I reached uh, Santo Domingo which is Dominican Republic around like I reached in the hotel minister two. So I just wanted to show you what the bed looked like before I ran for the sheets. Right, but the hotel is really nice. I'll give you a proper tour tomorrow, please God. I just wanted to show you the bed. Right, so this is what it looks like. And I'm about to sleep because we have an early day tomorrow, please God. So yeah, I am tired. I'm drained. Alright, Olya, so what am I doing in Dominican Republic? Um, kind of randomly. Not random for me, but you are probably like, what is she doing? Here, yeah. this was a sticker, by the way, that we got from a, a museum. Everything about this at the end of the vlog, but I had to interrupt the viewing just to kind of explain so you could get some kind of understanding. So basically, if you were on my live, you would have already seen or heard about what I'm doing here. If you were not on my live, you missed out. <laughs> I'm here in Dominican Republic in Santo Domingo. I am here, well, as most of you all know, I was doing a course on policy design. If you all haven't seen those vlogs when I've spoken about it, well, you all may not know, but if it is you have been keeping up with my vlogs, you all will know that I was in a course. The course had different phases of it, so phase one is kind of like just going to class every Thursday, I was going to class, having breakout sessions over Zoom, and then the next part of the, the whole course was to present a policy and actually presented to stakeholders and stuff like that so you all would have seen that vlog if you have not seen it i will put the vlog in my description below and then after that two persons from every team would have gotten chosen to go to dominican republic and based on everything and all of our, all of the marks added up i was one of the persons chosen me and my other team member fana and then from the other team shauna and akila got chosen so four of us from Trinidad and Tobago here as well as from four from belize four from jamaica um, Dominican Republic, Suriname, yeah, and we're just here for a conference, a youth conference. Um, you will see everything, but basically this is why I'm here in Dominican Republic. It was not vacation per se, but I mean, look at this room, and you will just see more of the room when I do the room tour. But like, this room alone is so, is it's very calm, very nice. The International Republican Institute. They basically made this show possible for us. So, um, Roger, Sergio, Marco, Marcelo, Sofia, um, the whole IRI team, they were the ones to like kind of get us here and organize our flights and we have not had to pay for anything really and it's just so amazing. Like it's such a good opportunity. Thank God for this opportunity as well, like to be chosen to come to another country to attend something like a youth conference i wouldn't say it's like a dream of mine but it's definitely something that for me is such a good achievement and i am so very thankful zero complaints also my group member found out today that sometimes i have very low expectations of things because i don't want to be disappointed that's just how i am but this trip made me realize that Sometimes you need to raise your expectations. It has been such an amazing trip and you will get to see everything. Vlogging was not a priority. Obviously, when you come to do something, you make sure that you get it done. But it obviously is something that I do I decide anyway. So I had to show you all. Yeah, so let's just get back into the vlog. Just wanted to put some context. Just wanted you all to understand it a little bit what I'm here for, how am I doing and everything like that. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, but he came, but he came late, so I'm not, I'm not even sure if he has. I'm getting my square. I'm getting my square. Oh, we are now away to a conference. Introduce yourself. You, you, you first. Hi, Fana. She said her whole name. I don't know. I am Christina from Jamaica. Hi, I'm Janelle from Belize. Oh, no light. <laughs> oh, look at the scene here. Hi, I'm Indira from Belize. <laughs> Hola, Marco. Hello. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, muy bien. Yo hablo español. Poco. No, mucho. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Long. <laughs> Long. <laughs> yeah. You are here. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Finally dehydrated. What are we here? Well, this is our translator because no habla español. <laughs> La llegada del siglo XXI trajo consigo el árbol de China y de los tigres asiáticos. Pero también buenas noticias para la región. Crecimiento histórico de las clases medias. Alcanzar más del 30% de la población. Um, I also want to uh, thank CAC, of course, uh, for creating this opportunity and um, acknowledgement to the International Foundation for Liberty and FIU, as we referred to before, the uh, International University. And, and my thoughts and prayers with uh, those in the family of uh, Florida International University with the hurricane that, that devastated uh, the state uh, today. so tired hence I haven't been posting but we are about to go to for dinner they said casual so I just have on the stop my slippers and we're gonna head to dinner so I'll talk to you at some point because you get late we gotta reach for 6 15. girl is tired <laughs> well we came from the conference what time we reached to the hotel back yeah what time we reached back Mrs. Six. Mrs. Six. And the penny group chat, we need to be here by 6.15 all year. I ain't even get to talk, I ain't get to do my room, so I ain't get to do nothing. But we're here, casual, and we're going. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana. La casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata Voy a cantar esta canción Con mucho cariño de mi corazón A la República Dominicana La casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata La, 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 la La casa del merengue La, la la casa de la bachata This is the door as you enter and then so you come in there's this little thing here so I'm assuming you could probably press one do not disturb clean up please wait whichever one you want so that's the first thing you see when you come inside and then you're meeting this as soon as you come in this sliding door you can hang up your clothes here if you have clothes to hang up a lot of storage in this room so yep then there's a mirror 
full length mirror the mirror is also a sort of sliding door so you have your robe here more storage <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah the little slipper you have a scale so this is the next sliding and it has lights in here there are lights like led lights there's a hair dryer and there's a steamer so yeah and again more storage space like here is just filled with storage then you have your safe and then you have drawers again storage again all right so this is on the left hand side as you enter so on the left on the right hand side as you enter it's actually the bathroom area so you have your toilet and everything is just led like look at up there lights from up there so yeah you have your toilet area very clean right and i'll put the name of the hotel on the screen at some point it's called the el, em el embajador um hotel and then the next side here is your shower so you have your shower again LED lights and this is your shower so you could use this you could use that you open it thing whatever so this is your shower you have your jack and jill they call it <laughs> and your towels and everything every single day they give you new towels so the old towel is gone and they put back new towels so you have this here this is my stuff toothbrush you know stuff like that you get a shampoo you get a shower gel oh i don't even see this you have a shower cap <laughs> sewing kit <laughs> all right and then you also have a manicure nail file thingy you have q-tips in here and this is your huge mirror well you see the tv right we didn't reach there yet but i have to see it but what I really like about this is that this light is actually another LED and it turns on lights to the mirror like Look at that So this mirror lights up. Oh, they look how nice Like look at this. I'm gonna go back So you can see the full thing. So this is the mirror and then here you have your tub your bathtub mm -hmm. And then you have this little coffee slash tea area and then you have glasses, you have a fridge, my fridge, oh they opened it, it was locked yesterday. So you have a fridge with stuff that I will not be using. Then you have snacks. Oh, let's see this. Snacks. <laughs> then you have this, the steam on. Oh, they, I know that culture, I don't know, I was asking Dario. Like, I don't know why it's just something like that, so it does steam your clothes, so yeah <laughs> then there's this nightstand um, it's on an alarm clock plugs switch for the lights this is where you're controlling your ac so yeah mirror again and then this is actually a light so once you pull it up you have your light and then this is the bed this is a huge bed for me alone one person like it's really really nice big and nice and then you have this led tv like look at this LED lights, sorry, the TV, big, nice TV, LED lights, like, this was honestly one of my highlights, I don't know why, I just love this aesthetic, looks really, really nice, and you have a counter here, I guess you could do your makeup, whatever you want to do, but a nightstand that is very packed with my stuff, so, you know, we'll ignore that, cute little painting and a lounge area, coffee table, and this is the curtain, the view is just trees, I have this, they call it a, a nave, Central Cathedral Primada de America. So it is some sort of monumental stuff. So they just have this here as a decor and it has a light to the top, so it's really nice the light reflecting on the little art. So this is nice. And so yeah, this is the hotel room, my room. We got rooms by ourselves, yes. So this is all mine. I've been having an amazing sleep. Just on one side of the bed to be honest. Just on one side, but but yeah, so that is the room tour. Good morning, you all. So right now I'm going to breakfast. Ignore my bed, but I'm going to breakfast now. And we have to meet at 8.30 in the conference room because that's where we have been the thing for today. So I still didn't get into talk so they're much more going and head down. Don't say my allergies are really acting up, so... Yeah, but I had in downstairs now, so we'll talk later. I'll show you what I get for breakfast. J'aime sentir la musique. Je peux sentir le jazz. Ça, ça me fait quelque chose. Et la musique classique, ça vous fait quelque chose? En fait, la, la musique classique, c'est pour la tête un peu. Et le jazz, c'est pour le corps.
Yeah. Hello. <laughs> this is Kyla from the Oh yeah, she wasn't here when I asked her if she was here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we have the conference today. IRI conference. Oh, well, yeah, I can't take the AC. Everything is AC. I just order. Everything is AC. I'm so excited that we finally get to do this in person all together. How excited are you? Very excited. I feel like I don't need to introduce myself because we've spent so much time together. But maybe I should. Nonetheless, um, my name is Roger Mitchell, President and Program Manager for IRI. Um, we're just very excited. This is this is the culmination of one year of programming that has just been really fabulous. Um, it's just been really an honor to work with all of you. So we're gonna have a little bit of an icebreaker, um, and the icebreaker is really just to, in three words. I'd like everyone to describe themselves. So I'll start. Um, I am, I like to think diplomatic in some ways. I am tall, according to my colleague Marcelo, and I'm French. I, I feel very French still to this day, so that's, that's the adjective and the word I used to, the, one of the words I wanted to use. Hi everyone, I am Renali Harris from Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> um, I'll say I am creative as well, I love everything creative. Um, I'm also an ambivert, so I like to be alone, but when I have to be social, I'll try my best to be social. And I'm also very resourceful, so I can make something out of nothing or very little. So, I said, sure. Yeah, happy to. But it was, you know, women getting together, talking about their challenges. And at the end of the day, in general, women's challenges are all the same around the world. We all want the same thing. Today, WDN operates in 80 countries with 5,000 women that are involved in that program. And I would welcome all of the women in the room to join that program as well. Yes, I like the call to action. <laughs> Session, very inspiring. Thank you so much, Tammy, for sharing your awesome journey. And thank you very much to all the participants. I was uh, feverishly writing your, uh, your presentations and your, the, the concepts that each, each one of you gave in, in terms of defining yourself. So how do you see education in the Dominican Republic, the main challenges, and what, what, of, what of, I mean, those challenges and that I mean, experience you already have can be relevant, useful for this, I mean, amazing view here from the, your neighboring Caribbean uh, partners? Okay, now, I'm very grateful for the invitation here with the Caribbean Youth Fellowship. Uh, I'm going to apologize for making my presentation in Spanish because a, a lot of words, it's just in English. 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 How many of you speak in Spanish? <laughs> no. <laughs> Zero. Oh, that's great. My English is amazing, but I forget a lot of words that are like, like technicians. Ok, agradecido de la, de la oportunidad de, de poder estar aquí, presente. Eh, como dijo el presentador, antes de ser Ministro de la Juventud, pues eh, fungí como Vicerrector de Extensión eh, del Community College que tiene la República Dominicana, que es el Instituto Técnico Superior Comunitario. Y desde esa formación académica, ahí podemos evidenciar que, como bien decía usted, el Caribe representa grandes oportunidades. Ok. <risa> This was very grateful for me here. Um, he, he has worked uh, previously in education and um, some of the different various high schools that I mentioned previously. Good schools, you're going to finish school, your parents are helping you, but the majority of Latin America is not, and Latin America is not happy that. None of the laptops to be here discussing this. So if you are going to be involved in education reform, you have to have a sense of urgency. Things need to happen now because a lot of people are losing opportunities now. And adjust, they pull the cord.
to be here with you. At first I said to myself, why are they inviting a woman with gray hair <laughs> to come and speak to you? But then I realized that I was once in your place and so I can share the experience I've had. I got over it by marrying right. It's a reality that we don't often don't speak about. Marry right. And by marrying right, I mean someone who respects you to the point that they realize you're as much of an individual as they are. Very, very important. Or I would not be doing what I'm doing now. I would not be in the Senate in Jamaica if I had not done that because I'd have left, been a trailing spouse, take up heavy drinking at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And life would have been different. Um, I've been very active on the political sphere in St. Lucia. Um, and I did, I never said I wanted to be a politician. I said I'm going to be the UN ambassador for St. Lucia. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, can you pause right there? Let me tell you something. You see what she's doing? She's owning what she wants. Dream big and never worry about whether or not it will happen. Put it out to the universe, build your brand, and you'll be surprised what happens. I think the rhythm and if we're not careful, the very status quo that we rail so much against may well be perpetuated by us if we sacrifice our ideals, our ideas, our values, and our personal commitment and conviction to do better, if we sacrifice that on the altar of political expediency and personal gain. The question has always been, how can we transform our region to grow, to develop, to advance, to strengthen, and to achieve the sustainable development goals but I want to challenge us because I truly believe that the potential and capacity of our youth, particularly our young women, to overcome these obstacles that we face is real. I would want to raise. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of a sugar rush because unbeknownst to me, if you order chocolate at the lovely lady at the back, you get something that at the bottom has quite a bit of sugar. So <laughs> if I sound excited, it's not all, you know, my doing. <laughs> but I, I am excited because um, we had this experience and I hope that um, while it's me standing up here, it's not just my sort of voice coming through. Really nobody was going to turn out to be. Um, but we saw it and we had a decision to make. I think we made the right decision. So we applied. And then, what a right decision on our part was and really a challenge to them to find us and we can give them an applause they found us i don't think that anyone in this room or anyone watching online today is here by chance i think we're supposed to be here and that we have a purpose to serve but i also believe that in as much as we are supposed to be in some spaces we have a responsibility when we get into those spaces. And that is a principle that guides me as well. I do not get involved in things that I don't intend to give 100% to. What are we going to stand for now? That 60 years from now, someone will say, or generations will say, the reason why this is happening is because 60 years ago, someone decided to stand and fight for it. Second, we have Kyla Diego. I know. 
Yay! <laughs> and third, we have Janelle Feliz. We'll, we'll blame it on traffic. <laughs> There's John. <coughs> so, Natasha. John. Or Rolando. First, we have Jamil Deandra Chen. Second, we have Christina. Williams. Third, we have Kendra and Christopher. Surinama. Oh. Lucien Gore. Javana oh. Hildenberg. Ravina Bihari. Sharona Liu Han. Han? Liu Han. Sorry. First we have Fana Wiggins. Second we have Renali Harris. Third, we have Shauna Charles Toussaint. And Akilo Mara. Hundreds of applications and if you reviewed them thoroughly to come up with the best group of <coughs> leaders of the region, I think that they deserve it. <laughs> and we invited them to join an online weekly course. Um, and this was not just any weekly course. Our fellows, uh, for three hours, once a week, for months, Join the course after after their work commitments, after school, um, sometimes maybe during those commitments. And we really appreciated all the effort that they put in the course, and it was truly inspiring to sit and, and to watch that. So I'd like to give them another round of applause for their. <laughs> Back in the room is like after six now, and honestly, this is like the earliest time we have like been home because last night we went for dinner, as you all would have seen, and everything. So I really haven't been getting to speak to you all a lot. I didn't even get to show you the room yet. I probably will insert the room tour like before, so that all well, you will see that before, like all of these parts. If you see me, this is because I'm gonna record the room tour like now. But today was good. We had our IRI conference. We got our certificates, we got a little um, file ooh, with our agendas, file with our agendas and everything. So, yeah, I need to be just now. I was just like, this is like the first time I was actually getting to talk to all you. So, I probably will film the room tour because my bed get made up and everything all So, this is the perfect time to do the room tour now. Here, a little more sorted out. That's I could do room for. Because you know I've been here a while, a few days, so it's not necessary, you know, as it was. So let's just get that sorted out. And then I could do my little room to one thing for the hour.
We're going on a trip in our favorite bucket shop. Oh, we have an excursion. I call it an excursion because I don't know what to call it. Hi, Kendra. Hey, hey, hey. Lucien. Christina. Jimmy. Sean and Akila. No. It's a video. Can we be? Oh, that we in this bus, like sardine. It's Oscar. That's not even. That's not even. Thank you for that. I can give you 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 that. came from Islas Canarias in Spain so the accent yeah, yeah, yeah. is a bit different from the northern part oh, here oh, where okay. most came from Andalusia yeah. in Spain mm. so for instance just to uh, give you a sense even though I think we'll have one Spanish speaker our friend from, uh, from Belize here in the northern accents for instance they change the R's in the middle of the words for eyes uh, for instance and this, well, this is very rural Puerta, which means door, it would say Puerta. Oh. Uh, they try and tone it down, but but, but it's in their accent. Puerta. And, Puerta. and so on. So we're now going to Centro León, and you will hear from the, um, the guides there uh, a lot of what relates to the cultural aspect, but just giving you a, an insight. Um, even though it's not the national capital anymore, for the 14 provinces in the north, this basically is their capital. Okay. There is no separatist movement here. Thank God, when you, when you compare it to, uh, when you compare it to uh, for instance, Belgium, where you have the Flemish and you have the French, but there is a strong sense of pride here mm. in the northern part of the country. Um, as you saw, uh, it took us about two, uh, uh, two and a half hours to get here. Usually it's a bit less, but I think we, we arrived in relatively good time. So welcome to Santiago. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. It will be. Thank you. We crossed by two different provinces before arriving to Santiago. It's the province of Bonao, which is very much focused on copper mining. And then the province of La Vega, which is very uh, agricultural based. And Santiago, uh, very industrialized. But for instance, two of the main industries here are tobacco and beer. For us, it's a great pleasure to receive you all here today, and you woke up very early to be here, so welcome. Sí. <laughs> Esperamos que el viaje haya sido grato y que puedan pasar una mañana satisfactoria. We hope that your trip was well and that you enjoy your morning here in Central León. Perfect. So, once again, So I'm gonna be putting this small sticker inside your entry pass, and we're gonna we kind of take it off until we're done, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you have any doubts, I'm here for um, any questions or anything that you want. It has to be on your clothes, so it's visible. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, what's your name? Am I saying it right? Yeah. So it's easier 
Okay. No problem. <laughs> okay. So you can take pictures without flash since we have so many old pieces, we have to avoid using the flash. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. <laughs> so we have 400 pictures of the whole Caribbean. So we're gonna stay here for a few minutes. You can sit if you want, that's okay, <laughs> only if you want. And it shows the same. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I feel like I keep walking in here. No, I don't think. Okay. Okay. place like that small part but most of them are actually original from the Taínos. So they're totally made out of clay. These ones are called uh, the vessels for their food to search food only like meat, fishes, fruit, vegetables, not water. Okay? Now this one right here has the face of an animal and the base is another animal. in Venezuela 18 years ago so I believe there's still Tainos uh, all around the world but they are like really apart from people it's the last part of the life of the Tainos which is their early <coughs> ritual you can see uh, three bodies in fetal position just like we mentioned it means that they uh, close the circle so they are back to life to also it's really important to mention that these pictures are real so, uh, who is this person right here? The cacique, the chief. Why? Yeah. Because, because of the necklace. Because size. of the necklace. You can see the real size of the necklace, which is longer. And the two persons that are laying next to the cacique were the favorite wife. So, he used to have multiple wives, like four to five or six, because he was the king. Now, he used to pick his favorite ones at the moment of his death, so they needed to be very next to him. And they were very alike. Yeah. You are dead. You're the cacique, you're dead. Which means that your favorite uh, wife has to be very next to you because their life are done also. Just I like that. Be so they were <laughs> <laughs> they were They were Because they were really beautiful. It's 
part of the history. But people don't want that anymore because we are more modern and using different materials. So most of them are actually abandoned elements. Now on this side we have a different point of view. It is uh, a more modern point of view. You can see the color pictures, uh, the first computers, calculators, video games. Which is the uniform of one of the three Dominicans who climbed to the top of the Everest. So they donated just like they use it, not the flag. This is not the original one because the original one's still on the top. As a mark, as we were the first people like, to actually read the top. Here we have the picture of the group and the route they took. This was in 2011, but in 2017 they went back for the second time and also reached the top. One second. So they were the first uh, Dominicans to go to the top? Yeah. Okay. of our independence so the dictator that we had at the time decided to erect this monument in celebration of his bringing peace to a country that was garbage before that's what he said so it was the monument to the peace that Trujillo brought but when the dictator was assassinated in the year 1961 we decided to repurpose the monument and now it's called the monument to the heroes of the restoration of independence so this was uh, this was later, and that has Gregorio Luperón, who was the hero of our uh, restoration of independence. Maybe this isn't the most diplomatic thing to say, but the dictator, he named many things after himself. Even the capital city at that time, Santo Domingo, was called Ciudad Trujillo. And many have said that it was a very phallocentric uh, person, so you would see the image that the monument has and you would think that it's a, it's a monument to this manhood. Yeah. Everything in the city, everything in the country was named after him. The hospitals were named after his hmm. children, the city was named after himself, the monuments were named after hmm. Well, they're in this colonial place. What do they call it? Colonial city? Colonial. Oh, yeah, okay, bilingual queen. No, no, that's your place. That's your place. La. Wait, is it? <laughs> La colonial. La ciudad de colonial. What's up, my girl? Uh huh. KFC. 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 999. <laughs> Dominican dollars. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're supposed to be like a, a tourist area. Like a tourist strip. Like a shopping strip. <laughs> I don't know. <mean. laughs> All right, MC. See, in my life, we're coming back. Okay. See, I'm a song right here. Yeah, I'm a song right here. What else? What's in the Michael Jackson? Is that? Oh, look at the beautiful thing, son. Oh, that man really? Yeah. 
So I finally filmed like a kind of explanation as to what I'm doing, doing in Dominican Republic. Today is the last day we just went um, to El Colonial, El Ciudad de Colonial, Colonial City, the Colon Colonial City. The Trinidad Squad just decided to go on a little trip, um, just see a little bit more. Then we went to a restaurant, as you all have seen, everything tasted so good. Only have one thing about Dominican Republic, they share large portions. Like everything is just really large portions. As you all would have seen also when I went out earlier, I had mofongo, I believe is the name of it, and that is like a traditional, I have traditional mofongo. You see, they're like pork in it. I wanted to try something, I wanted to try something that was different and like more native, almost like, like a local kind of dish, which is what that was recommended by Natasha from Dominican Republic. She's part of our team as well. So I wanted to try it because I was going for Alfredo and I was like, Renali, you do not need Alfredo, like you, you know what Alfredo is, you've had Alfredo, try to be more, um, try to be a little bit more in the moment and experience something from the country. So I had that today and tomorrow please go at 9 o'clock, I'm leaving the hotel so I'm about to pack so that I wouldn't have to study this. It has been such an amazing trip to think it's coming to an end. It's like, yeah, I don't want it to come to an end but all good things come to an end. Um, if you have seen my Marguerite, only my sinus relaxing up, allergies acting up bad. There's not me alone, like, allergies, just... If you watch my Margarita vlogs, then you will know that flying is not something that I particularly like. Um, so, having to do this with nobody that I actually know like that, like, you know, family, diary, or thing like that. Yeah, just not having anybody, like, that I know like that. It's difficult. I never thought I'd be traveling by myself like anytime soon because all you know I don't like playing. We'll see it by myself. I was like, how are you gonna survive this trip? I thought about it so much times. Like Renali, do I do you do this? Do you not do this? And there is like you need to take them to us out of your head. Everybody's like, listen, this is a good opportunity. So, you know, I took the opportunity and I have no regrets. Like it has been such an amazing trip. It has been a great experience. All I got is from my cousin, this passport case. So nice. I love it. So I just have my passport stuff packed and just really ready. Oh, I have to do an e-ticket. Like coming into Dominican Republic and leaving, you have to do an e-ticket. So let me see if I can do that. I vexed because I didn't want to. I wanted an aisle seat and I didn't take it because you know, like if you want to go use the toilet, you don't want to disturb anybody. And I didn't take it. All right. So yeah, I just want to because we're taking American Airlines to go back. So. I didn't get the IFC to leave from Dominican Republic to Miami, but from Miami to Trinidad and Tobago, I have these seats. So, when you enter in Dominican Republic and you leave in Dominican Republic, you need an e-ticket. So I'm going to apply for my e-ticket one time, and then I'll start to pack to go home. So, it has been amazing. And you know, once you're going back, you don't really have much to vlog, so. But I didn't go through Miami last time, I went through JFK, because my flight didn't get cancelled. And because of the hurricane in Miami, I don't think I explained this in my vlog, but because of the hurricane, I ended up going through, I was supposed to go to Miami, they ended up changing to JFK, because JFK is away from the hurricane. 
just a whole kind of like not confusion but uncertainty um, and now the flight to Miami stays the same so it's not bad because I get to experience in this one trip I get to experience JFK I get to experience Dominican Republic and also going to get to experience Miami so it's like a good opportunity and everything so Hi y'all, so it is home time. Um, I leave the hotel at 9 o'clock, it is 5 to 8, so I'm going to get breakfast and then check out. Um, I was trying to call somebody earlier to come get my bag, but I'm trying to call a man again too. I'm going to try it again, because it have like concierge right there, so I'm trying to press it, but it's not working. But it's looking like I'm going to have to go downstairs first and talk to them, ask them to get my bag up here. Like, there's just too much, I don't know. I have everything packed and this was such a good stay. Bittersweet that I am leaving now. Um, let me just zip up my suitcase. And I'm trying to throw this downstairs because this is clumsy. <coughs> so I'll just play by the door and pray for somebody to come. And Ayudar me. Anyhow, yeah, this was a very fun trip. Um, but back to reality tomorrow, please go to our region home like after 9 because I have to go from here to Miami and then from Miami to Trinidad to so region home like 9.30 ish once everything goes well and then I have work in the morning please God so I could just imagine you know the stress and the hassle but I'm about to head downstairs and see if I can get help with this and I will be back with my camera at some point later I will check in with all you a little bit later Hey, Say <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to check out your book on Amazon. Oh, check out my book on Amazon. So, Pearls Among Stones, Black Gold, All From a Blind System, Liberation of Mind. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Much love to our girl. I didn't hear my name, though. Oh, it's Jamil. It's Jamil from Jamaica. I'm Christina from Jamaica, also known as Antonio Valer. That's oh. my stage name. In your Spain, I'm Belize. I'm the handsome Lucia. <laughs> yeah, Ravina, Ravina. 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 Oh, I blocked you. Esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. La La casa del merengue, la 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 y la casa de la bachata.
gonna be in Miami getting food, Chinese food. Oh. How to get the content? Hey y'all, I am home. But tell me how I get this. Literally get this on transit, cause I did not leave the hotel looking like this. At least I don't think so. But anyhow, you get us back home now. I am tired. I'm about to bed and go and sleep because it's back to reality. And work tomorrow, please God. Bright and early in the morning, you'll have to wake up, and it's already probably after twelve by now. Um, but today was no, it's not after twelve yet, but it's almost after twelve. Um. Dominican Republic was such a good experience earlier. Well, yeah. Like, I cannot explain how well it went. Like, it definitely was. It surpassed my expectations. Like, I didn't expect to go and not have a good experience. But, like, from the hotel to how we were treated, like, everything was just so amazing. I am so thankful for the opportunity um, to the International Republican Institute, IRI, and the Center for Analysis of Public Policies, CAP. Like, I am extremely grateful for this experience. I'm really grateful I've met so many amazing people from around the Caribbean and not even the Caribbean alone but some of the other persons that I would have met um, are from outside of the Caribbean, from DC and I think Argentina and stuff like that. But all in all it was a good experience. The flight coming back home was good as well. Back to life, back to reality. So yeah, really, um, thanks so much for watching this vlog as I explained um, some time before this is not like a vacation vlog or anything like that by no means because we actually for the most part went for business yes we got to explore as well but for the most part it was a business trip like it wasn't that type of vacation to go to the beach and to go here and to go there it was really about business so it's kind of like a different dynamic from like if I would have gone to vacation or on vacation I should say um so yeah that's that thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share comment subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed uh, i don't know how i edit in this video because it kind of like might be all over the place but i'll try to figure it out and make it as effective as possible so i'll see you in the next one later from tired <laughs> Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de